How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I am finally going to be replacing the lower ball joints on my first gen Toyota Sequoia. Just like all of my other repair and modification videos that are on my channel, this is something that has probably been needing to be done for a while, especially since we're talking about the lower ball joints here. If you're not familiar with older Toyotas, the lower ball joints are a part that often can fail, and when they do fail, can be pretty dangerous and cause a lot of damage. So they're a good thing to keep an eye on and a good thing to replace. I don't know exactly when mine were last replaced, uh, if they have been replaced, so just kind of doing them today for preventative maintenance. I'm super excited to jump in, get these swapped out, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So our first bolt to remove is this tie rod here. Um, there's a castle nut along with a pin. So we gotta get that pin out first before we can remove the nuts. All right, so with the cotter pin removed, now it's time to remove this castle nut. I believe it's a 19 millimeter. All right, and now we're trying to break this tie rod free, so leave the nut on there a little bit, and then we're gonna hammer on this, try and get it to break loose. Well, would it really be a car project without a trip to O'Reilly's or Harbor Freight? I couldn't get those tie rods separated, uh, so just picked up a ball joint separator from Harbor Freight. We're gonna give that a shot. All right, the next step, there are four 14 millimeter bolts that hold the lower ball joint. Uh, they're down below, two on each side, so let's take those off next. So this is where we are now. We disconnected the four bolts that hold the lower ball joint in. Um, it's hard to see, but there's one here, one here, and two on the other side. They're just 14 millimeters. And then we also disconnected the tie rod. I had to use the ball joint separator tool. That helped a lot. Uh, it was just super stuck in there. So we got the tie rod disconnected, and then we got these four 14 millimeter bolts uh, on the lower ball joint taken off. The last one is this, I think it's a 24 millimeter bolt, uh, sorry, 24 millimeter nut, and it just holds the lower ball joint in to this lower control arm. So we'll have to remove the cotter pin, and then it's just a castle nut, 24 millimeter, we'll get that off, and then we can put in the new lower ball joint. So we're gonna start by getting this cotter pin out, or trying to. All 
All right, so with the cotter pin out, the last thing is this castle nut. It should be 24 millimeter. All right, I got them out. Both of the lower ball joints uh, just put on some rap music and the sledgehammer did the job. So um, honestly, they don't seem like they look that bad. Uh, I'll show you guys some clips here. Uh, I mean, I'm not a mechanic, uh, but it doesn't seem like they're leaking or anything. But at the same time, take that with a grain of salt because I don't really know what a bad lower ball joint exactly <laughs> looks like. So uh, super excited to have gotten them out. Honestly, it didn't take too long. Um, the hardest part was just hitting it hard enough with the sledgehammer. But um, gonna go ahead and get started on installing the new lower ball joints now. One other thing I'm trying today, and this is the first time I've kind of tried this, is normally I do one side start to finish and then go over and do the other side start to finish. But I saw a video of a mechanic working the other day. He was doing each side kind of at the same time. So you go and you take one nut off on one side, you go and do the same thing on the other side. You go and you take those bottom four 14 millimeter bolts off, you go and do it on the other side. And you kind of like do it at the same time. Uh, I tried that today and honestly it's worked amazing just because then you have all of the same tools out. It just seems like it's made it even more efficient and easy to kind of just do them at the same time. So right now um, on the Sequoia, both of the lower ball joints are out. I'm in the exact same place on both the passenger side and the driver side. And yeah, kind of just doing them together at the same time. And yeah, I like that workflow a lot better than doing one side start to finish and then the other side start to finish. So just another thing I'm trying today that I wanted to share with you guys because I think it's been working awesome. One other note too, make sure when you're doing your lower ball joints that you buy the official Toyota parts. These parts already fail often enough. You don't want to be messing around with any cheap aftermarket brand. Toyota OEM is the only way to go when it comes to lower ball joints. I'll put links in the description to where I got these. I recommend looking at first gen off-road. They have an option where you can get them with all new factory bolts as well. So it makes it super easy to get all of the parts and bolts without having to do any of the research. Just, uh, just place your order and you get everything you need. All Toyota OEM. <laughs> All right, this bottom castle nut gets torqued to 103 foot-pounds. All right, and if the slot doesn't line up for the cotter pin, uh, keep tightening it until it does versus loosening it. You wanna make sure it's torqued to at least 103 foot-pounds. This part's a little tricky, but you gotta line up the lower ball joint. Um, and just get these four bolts threaded through. All of these four bottom bolts here get torqued to 59 foot-pounds. The outer tie rod gets torqued to 67 foot pounds. All right, this gets torqued to 67 foot-pounds. Um, the only way I was able to tighten it here was with the impact. If I was using anything else, like a hand uh, tool, it was just spinning. So just try and use your impact on this or uh, some type of power tool if you can't get it. So I do think we need new cotter pins. Um, the kit didn't come with any for this piece. Uh, so I'll need to pick some up 
um, at some point. All right guys, so everything is put back together and torqued. Uh, just need to put the wheels back on and clean everything up, but just wanted to review the torque specs. The outer tie rod here is 67 foot-pounds. Um, the bottom bolt, let's see if I can show you. This bottom castle nut that connects to the lower control arm is 103 foot-pounds. And then each of those four bolts, um, the 14 millimeter bolts just like these are 59 foot pounds. So those are the torque specs for you guys. Everything is put back together. It was a little tricky to line up the four bolts with the uh, lower ball joint. I was just so worried about putting them in and getting them cross threaded. So just take your time with that. If you have two people, I'm sure it would be easier. One person can kind of take the rotor and kind of move it around and help get it lined up. Uh, but I was able to do it. Just take your time. Don't want to cross thread any of those. The lower ball joints, it didn't seem like they were in too terrible condition. But like I've said earlier, these are known to fail on Toyotas and they can cause a lot of damage if they do fail. So just having the peace of mind that I have brand new Toyota OEM lower ball joints in there. Uh, it will just be nice to know for the next 50, 100,000 plus miles. So um, I'm going to get everything cleaned up, put the wheels and tires back on, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video. It took me about four hours. Yeah, not terrible, not too bad of an install. Um, and that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, definitely drop a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or you get stuck. Always happy to help and give some advice. So I'm not a mechanic, but I think it's really cool to be able to take on some of these projects yourself and feel like you can do it. So I hope these videos can kind of uh, help guide you guys who are also trying to do this by yourself. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, hope it was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.